Hey everybody, how you guys doing? I'm alright, just laying down as you see. Um, I know it's a lot of things I want to talk about. But there's a lot of things I need to start doing, most importantly. You know, we all talk. It's easy to express what we want to say, but when it's time for us to put forth the action, we kind of we're kind of slow on that, you know. Sometimes I get like that personally because you know, I, I sometimes I feel like I have to you know, I always have a need to care about people's feelings, you know. And I realize that, that sometimes that can be so hindering to the things that I need to start doing. You know, when you want to say something to somebody or you want to start doing something, you're afraid of what the next person may say, but you have to realize that that shouldn't matter, you know, and we all human beings. We all make mistakes like that. You know, some people are just so, oh man, some people are just so like, it's not that they don't care. It's just that they don't let no one, they don't let nobody stop them. Not even their own emotions. You know, have you ever heard? The saying, and I'm pretty, I don't know why I'm asking y'all that, but y'all, I'm pretty sure y'all already know about this. Have you ever heard, you know, people say, follow your heart? I haven't heard that in a long, I haven't heard that in a long time, you know, follow your heart. But you really think about that. Why? You know, we take these, we take tips, advice from people. And you start to really think about what they're saying. Follow your heart. And when you and when you do that, you start to think like, if I were to follow my heart, really, I guarantee I'll be locked up. You don't want to follow your heart. You don't. And I'm going to tell you why. Read the book of Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. Following your heart is one of the worst things you should ever do. The heart is deceitful, man. The heart is wicked. If we follow our heart, that means we follow what we think is right. We follow what we believe is right. We follow what we, you know, our emotions are are, are led. You know what I'm saying? We start to uh, we start to just do things from our own emotions. Well, I feel that I need to do that. I feel I need to do that. No, you don't. A couple of cases, even some here in Milwaukee, it was a couple of cases. Um, teenage girls killing an, another woman. I mean, killing another chick. You know what I'm saying? Killing another girl. Because of Facebook drama, because their boyfriends are cheating, apparently, and they want to go ahead and find some type of way of retaliation or being an Avenger. Why? Because you're led from your emotions. Sometimes it's hard to not be led by your emotions because we have that. You know, it's in us. We got to be led by the spirit. Not by our emotions. We gotta be, we gotta be grounded, you know. We we gotta. Oh man, and this is something that I learned from my own experience. You can't do what your what you want to do sometimes because that can put you in. It's like man, you being tossed away, man. You can just be, you be you be screwing yourself up, and I mean it. Do not be led by your emotions. Don't. You know, when I come on here and and speak, to be honest with you, sometimes I don't know what to say. I just talk, man. And then I write the title when I'm done with it, you know. But I, I just go in here just to speak. That's it. Practice what you preach. And I do what I need to do. I love every last one of you. I do. I don't have to know you to love you. A child that is born, they love their surround. They love their, they love that person. They love a stranger. You know, that's why it's so easy to listen to people who they don't know because that's love. We are born with that. We're born with that, you know? A child that has not, if a child is not loved, within a couple of weeks, they're dead. That is scientifically proven. They're dead. Within two, three months, I believe, even shorter than that, if a child does not have love, they are considered, they are dead. 
Man, love is powerful, man. Love is so powerful. Oh, love is powerful. Don't ever get confused with love and lust. Know the difference. But love is so powerful. Like, oh. And I'm just thinking about the times. And this is not dealing with relationships or dating. This is the times where I'm thinking about love as in looking around you at nighttime, seeing the stars you know, light up the heavens, you know, or just seeing the sunrise at the beach. You know, I, that's love to me. That's love. When I see homeless people eating, when I see pe when I see strangers get just buying dinner and buying food from them, like here, take this, take the money too. That is love right there. That is something that we have within us. That is something that we have within us. It is up to us to express that kind of love without dealing with other people in their emotions. That's something I had to deal with for a while, and I had to learn like that is not something I should be doing. Thinking about somebody else because of their opinions. Their opinions should not matter. They shouldn't. Because no one has power over you. No one. When you let people start to control your life and constitute your lifestyle, I guarantee you, you are subject to them and you are considered a slave to their will. Don't let, man, I don't, I don't care if it's a pastor. Like I said, you, Jesus said this, you would know them by their fruits. I'm going to say it again. You would know them by their fruits. Just because they have a title does not mean they keep that title. You understand? Wolves in sheep's clothing. Y'all know what that means. So I don't need to talk about it. I know a lot of you guys watching this, man. Like, you know, just... No, I ain't got no... Pencil, paper, I don't, man, I don't write this stuff down. I used to write stuff down because I, it was so easy for me to just get off what I needed to get off of my chest, you know, and my, my vocabulary, my grammar, punctuation, whatever, you know, I, I wasn't so good. And that's why I write a lot of things down to just, you know, but I realized this is much easier, you know what I'm saying? Besides using stock images and filming things, I'm, I'm going to just go in here and make it live or whatever, you know, and just speak what's on my heart. Speak what's on my heart. I don't go in here and just say stuff that I know. I, I put it to use, man. Sometimes I have problems that I need to just talk about or whatever, and then it just it just simply go away, you know? Or, you know, sometimes when I talk to Christ, man, I just tell him what's going on. And I can just hear a voice, man. Like, like I can just hear a voice just within me. And the problem is gone. It's like he it's like he would just say something and it's just gone. Like I have troubles with let's say if I have a trouble with, you know what I'm saying, myself, whatever, and I tell him like like Lord, please just you know, and the next thing before I say it, it's like I guess so. I'm like <laughs> I know God got a sense of humor, man. And it is it's nothing like it's nothing like, you know, what you think it is, like does he make jokes or I don't know about that, you know, but I do know is that he smiles, he laughs, you know, and it's, it's of an, an enjoyment, pleasurable feeling, you know, like, like, you know, you, you laugh when you're being with family and you start talking about the old days, you know, like how y'all used to do this when y'all young, you know, it's something like that, you know, that, that not like you ranking on or you ribbing somebody or roasting them and then just, Humiliating them. No, it's nothing like that. It's more of like having fun, but in a proper manner. You get what I'm saying? Like, like I say, you you smiling with kids, or kids throw a ball and they hit someone in the head, and they all laugh. You know what I'm saying? Something that'll make you just like laugh or giggle at it. You know, things like that. You know, we we are made in the image of God. You know, you gotta look at that. We cry, He cry. You know, you gotta face. We gotta face. You know, he, we have emotions. He have emotions. I mean, even the angels cry sometimes. You know, we, we all got emotions, man. We all do. And that's that's something to really think about, you know. It's, it's better to be obedient than to just do what you want to do because you feel that it is right. I hope I'm getting through you guys. I hope I'm, I hope I'm at least reaching somebody, you know.
those kids doing outside? But to be to be on a on a serious note, man, it's life is is rough as it is right now. Some of you guys are struggling with things. Me personally, I'm definitely struggling, man, with a lot of stuff myself. Uh, what's going on? You know, what I'm saying with the, with the landlord and all that. It's 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 a lot, you know. Especially being off. Many of you guys know if you off for three weeks. I'm not gonna tell you why, but if you off for three weeks, just expect to know. Just know this: that your bill is not gonna be paid on time. You know, I, and that's what I'm going through. So you guys already know what I'm talking about: all your rent bills. You know, but we have a home in heaven, man. We don't have to pay no bills on that. You know, so we. <laughs> That, that's that's my hope. That's what my hope is. You know, just just waiting, man. Doing what we need to do. We're gonna we're gonna feel we're gonna feel like the world owes us something. Honestly, it don't. It really don't. You can work so hard and you won't get nothing from it. You can work your butt off and you won't get nothing. Not even a rare coin, man. You you won't. That's just how this world is. This world isn't fair. It's not. This world isn't yours. You don't belong to this world. Remember that. You don't we just we just live here. You know what I'm saying? We we stay here temporarily. We don't belong here. So you're going to find troubles. You're going to find tribulations in this world. But you don't belong here. Remember that. You're going to have problems here with people you don't belong here. 11 minutes already. You know, we, we don't belong here. Only thing I can only thing I can share with you guys is this, you know, make the best out of what you can with what you got. Make the best out of it. Because sometimes that's all you got. And of course, Jesus. You know you got him all the time, man. But make the best out of it. You are going to struggle. You are going to be tempted. You're going to fail. You know, just don't let that stop you. Get up. Keep pushing forward. Find something new. You know, me personally, I can be bored out of my mind, man. Like, I, I barely play games now, but, you know, you know, but on a serious note, I do a lot of singing, you know, and I can't sing a lick. Like, I can't sing for nothing out of this world. But, you know, I, I put music on. I have, like, a little karaoke thing. And I just start singing songs that I know. You know what I'm saying? It's like old school songs, you know, in the, in the 70s, 80s, 90s, you know. Like, songs that, that talks about love or, you know what I'm saying? Songs that make you feel happy. It's just cool. You know what I'm saying? Not degrading stuff. Not, nothing like that. Barely rap music. I'm not into rap music like that. You know, I'm not not really... You know, especially how music is now. I'm just, that's just not me, you know. But don't get me wrong. There are a cool art. There are a lot of cool rap artists out here, you know, but every now and then, every now and then. But, you know, it's just, singing is my new thing, man. I want to sing, you know, it's, I do. I really do. I want to start singing, man. I, I think, I think I'll be a cool singer, dude. Like, for real. I think, I, I don't think I could. I want to take up some singing lessons, you know, and, when we have time to do something extra, do something different, you know, do something different. Like if, you, if you're not into, if you're, if you're into sports and you don't play for a team or you, you know what I'm saying? There is like recreations or something around you, you know what I'm saying? Or you can just meet up with friends on Facebook and then just like, hey, let's go out here. Let's go out here. You know, like today I was supposed to be at a kickball thing. I couldn't make because I had so much things to do. And I, man, I put a hole in that ball. I wear a size 14. I'm tearing that ball out the frame. Like, I'm tearing it right out the box. I am because I kick so hard. I do. And I've been, man, kickball was my stuff back in school. You know, like, <laughs> I used to kick over, like, school buildings. I'm not lying. I used to kick over school buildings. They don't be that tall, though. It's just, you know, you know like two stories, whatever. But I used to like kick over. Me and my friends used to just kick over. Like, we was just some big dudes, just tearing that ball up. Like, man, that ball. Now, if that ball was trouble, we used to just kick the mess out of it. Like, like put all the world, put all the problems of the world, and just put in that ball, man. We would just tear it up the frame. 
And that's how you got to treat life sometimes, man. You got to just, the problems of the world, man, just kick the mess out of it. Kick it out of your life. You have to kick it out of your life. If it's people in your life that's not doing right by you, that's constantly taken away from you, man, kick them out. You got to. You got to kick them out. But remember, like I said before, sometimes the feelings, sometimes what we have, it, it, it keeps us it keeps us close to them. You know what I'm saying? Because we feel for them. A lot of times you're not supposed to be going off of your emotions. Remember what I told you earlier, but it's hard for us, you know? Just imagine, okay, I'm going to make this real short, you know? This is like 15 minutes. I wasn't even expecting this, to be honest with you. You know how I get. Some of you guys know. Just imagine that you are at home and you're living with someone you're living with someone that there is no connection be between the two. Like, there is, I mean, man, there is like no connection. And when y'all and when y'all guys do connect, it's only for a little time and it does not last long because you guys are so different from one another that you cannot just be you cannot just be balanced. Like if that person is left, you go right. If that person is up, you go down. Can you just imagine that? Can you just imagine how y'all is just not right for each other and you trying your best because you know that you love this person and you are just trying your best to hang on. But there's something about hanging on that when you hang on for so much, you just don't want to give up. You know, sometimes a broken relationship is like broken glass. The more you should have put it back together, the more it's going to hurt you because you keep getting cut. Sometimes you got to let that person go. Now, people, some of you guys know whatever. Some of you guys just believe that, you know, if it's good, it'll come back to you. I'm not going to say nothing about that. That's not me. I don't go off of that. Because everybody has some good in their heart. But it doesn't mean that person is meant for you. You understand that? See, I need to get a studio, man. I can't be dealing with these noise from these kids outside. But remember what I said, okay? I'm telling you this stuff from my personal experience. I don't care who, I don't care who ignoring this video, talking bad, downgrading. I don't care. As long as this video is he's helping someone. If it's helping 20, 50, whoever, as long as this video is helping somebody, then please, God bless you forever. And if you guys already know this stuff, God will bless you forever. And this goes for everybody. Those who hate me and those who love me. Those who listen to me, those who won't. Those who accept me or those who reject me. God bless you forever, my enemies and friends. That's how much I care about you all. I'm saying this stuff because I know some of you guys that can't agree with this already know what I'm talking about. Then you know what I'm talking about then share this or you share your experience with someone that is close to you. Now, if you guys have children, I expect for you, I'm sorry, I'm talking like I'm a father. I only have kids myself. But I, 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 you should really expect from yourself that if your kids grow up, you need to tell them the truth about everything because they're going to ask, how did you and mommy, where did this, where did... kids are going to grow up asking these questions about the history. They're going to know and they need to know. Tell them the truth. Don't lie about it. You know, when... Christmas is coming up and I never did believe in telling kids about Santa Claus. You know, tell them the truth. Yes, Santa Bishop what's his name? Uh Bishop Nicholas, you know, he lived long time ago, you know, in Europe. He lived long time ago. Just tell them the truth. You know, just just it's it's, it's up to you. I'm not telling you what you should do. I'm telling you at least what you should know. Tell your children the truth. Okay? You don't want to you don't want to live a lie and then you don't want your children to be believing in a lie for so long you don't want to do that to them i mean that we all follow this tradition my parents <laughs> i'm gonna tell you guys a story my parents told me about santa claus when i was young i used to stay up almost all night at the window like this all day drooling coming down my elbow just like this waiting for santa claus You know, seeing that fat man coming down my chimney, I was waiting to see him, you know, and he was never there. And I'm looking like, man, where is this fat dude at? You know, I was like, where is this big man? You know, and I went to sleep. I'm like, forget it. I'll see him later. You know, and I grew up like 
why did my parents teach me that stuff? That tradition? Man, if tradition is nothing but a lie, then I won't follow it. And I never will. Tell your children the truth. You know, surprise them. Hey, what do you want for Christmas? I'll see if I can get this for I'll see if I can get that. Tell them the truth, okay? You, many of our many of our kids right now, even us, have been lied to most of our life, even in school. There's a lot of things we have never knew about, especially what we know now. But we have been lied to. Don't continue on that path of lying to your children, okay? Be honest with them. Be serious with them, all right? I mean that. I'm telling you guys the truth. I really mean that. Like I said, this... I'm not expecting nothing from this video. I just want you guys to just know the truth, man. That's it. I'm just here to help you. That's all. That's all I can do. <sighs> if you guys got any questions, want to write me, just write it below. I put my Facebook um, page on another video, or you can just go to my home screen, and you see a little F. Other than, other than, other than that, on that side is like the Instagram thing, and but I know a lot of people add me. You know, I you know, you know I'm gonna tell you this. I don't like. I'm gonna tell you this. Someone added me, and of course it was someone from Facebook, and you know, and then the next day, they put up picture of someone's butt cheek on my page you know who you are i'm telling you if i know you all right whatever <clears throat> you're gonna get yours i'm gonna tell you that <laughs> i know it wasn't a prank either this was not a prank but i'm like come on dude like i don't want no cheeks on my page you know so for for now on i'm not gonna Accept anybody unless I know y'all personally If you guys want to write me you guys can just write me and we can just have that conversation from writing but You know when you accept someone's friends list, you know They are able to see everything personal and they are able to post anything on your stuff You get what I'm saying and I don't want my page being defiled by some nasty stuff, especially somebody's butt cheek Nasty man I'm thinking it's going to be some positive or like, you know, or writing something cool. And I looked on there. It's just someone bent over, just spreading them legs, man. I'm like, come on, dude. <sighs> and, you know, I was warned, too. It's funny because I was warned about this. Be careful who you at or be careful who you accept. And I used to give this out to a lot of people, but I'm figuring like, hey, you guys are cool. But I realize there's a lot of trolls on here. And I'm looking like, you know, it's probably one of them that did it. So if you know who you are. You know, I'm well, lucky I don't know you, but <laughs> no, they're forgiven. I forgive them anyways. Crazy people. Look, guys, this is it. If I got something else to share, or if you guys want me to talk about something, I'll definitely post it on here. I'll see you guys later, all right? Have a good day.